Hello and good morning. My name is Linda. And my name is John. And welcome back to Master News. Today's story focuses on yesterday's threat in the Night Hotel v. John and Molly. It was reported to be evacuated for a potential threat of the 20-store building falling in the Indian Ocean, putting 454 people in danger. Many call-outs have been made to the government for them to step in. People were evacuated from the south side of the building at 12 p.m., carrying all their belongings with police assistance. Luckily, they spotted this problem before a bigger problem. Yeah, how terrifying. We managed to get a hold of a local, even a manager. At the hotel, we have Janoski. So, what is the situation like tonight? Hello? Hello, are we filming? Janoski? Hello? Janoski? Janoski! Oh, I can hear you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a beautiful, sunny day. Here we're in front of the reconstruction of the Hotel Bijana, as you can see there. And as you can see outside the hotel, there are 200 people protesting. The Republic of Maldives was one of the first countries to recognize the danger of rising sea levels. This building faced its terror, but potentially many others will face it too. So how did a sudden catastrophe occur? Well, we have an expert on coastal erosion from Obafe the Obafemi Awolowo University on the line. Is that a real university, John? Yes, Linda. Yes, it is. Uh, hello, how are you today? Good, good. Good. Uh, so, how did this happen, Professor Osa... Osa Yim... Uh, Osa Yim Wese? Yes, conditions in Mali, Maldives is getting day by day worse. It's just another 30 years till we can expect the island of Mali to be fully submerged in the Indian Ocean. The reason being that the water levels are rising because of melting of glaciers and icebergs. According to a very recent NASA study, the rise of level is accelerating. The primary source is the increasing of melting in Greenland and Antarctica. Therefore, erosion is happening very quick and action needs to take place as quick as possible. And the erosion is a process of being eroded by water, wind or other. Another process that is happening in the island of Maldives is abrasion and corrosion. It is when materials get carried by waves and they erode the cliffs. Erosion, okay. You were in my dictionary, am I right, Linda? <laughs> yeah. So how does the, the future look like if it goes at, a, at this rate? Well, if acceleration continues, our sea level could rise by 26 inches by 2100. So, what is being done about this? They started by placing seawalls parallel to the shoreline. As it is a strong structure and doesn't rely on land to support it. To take care of longshore drift from occurring, they have placed up groins perpendicular to land that interrupts this process. So, groins are cross-shore structures that are designed to reduce longshore drift on open beaches. So what are the advantages? Well, the advantages are that they're supposed to last for 15 to 20 years, and they, of course, reduce the movement of sediment. The disadvantages are that since they have to be replaced, like 15 to 20 years, they still do have to be replaced. So that's a disadvantage. And another part is that they're quite expensive relative to other coastal managements. So, what else are they trying to do? Well, I read that uh, they're also trying to relocate its people to a new homeland. So maybe Mali, Maldives is not the best place for them to live. As I said before, they might only have just another 30 years. Uh, you, you, so you stated something about longshore drift. What is that? How does it actually work? So when waves hit the beach at an angle, sediment moves straight off the beach in a wash and straight back down in a backwash. Well, thank you very much, sir. I hope you have a nice day. Okay, bye. Back to Janowski, where we have some locals and the manager who got experience the strategy. Here we are local at Maldives Mali. Yes, we're very unhappy about what coastal management process that are happening here in Mali. We're very upset with the government 
Firstly, we want we want beach nourishments as a short term effect. We don't care if it it's expensive. We want it. <laughs> okay. Oh, him. Sir. Sir. No. Can no. we please interview you, sir? No. No. Sir, just a quick interview. Sir, please. Sir. 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 Sir, can you please interview. Please. Sir. 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 Come on. Uh, I don't know what that was. These are the words from our local. Back to you, John. Well, uh, not sure uh, what that was about. Um, change the subject. Let's discuss how this happened. Um, how did it happen so fast? Well, we have a hold of the manager who has uh, had an upsetting discussion with the, uh, the police and the fire department. Uh, so, yeah. Back to Janowski. Well, earlier today, I have spoken to the police and the fire department. They said this happened due to huge wave destruction. It only happens rarely, but yes, we should be prepared for this. Um, I only know a little bit about this, so, Mr. Zed? Hi, I'm Mr. Zed, uh, a part of the fire department. So, um, a destructive wave is created in storm conditions. They're created from a big, strong waves when the wind is very powerful and has been rolling for a long time. They occur when wave energy is very hard and the waves have traveled over a long fetch. It fetches the length of the water that has been blown by the wind. Destructive waves tend to uh, erode the coast, just like what happened in Mali. They also have a stronger backwash than wash. In looks, they're really high and really steep. So here we have an animation of how coastal line looks over time and what happens to the cliffs when they get eroded. No one agrees on the best. Everyone agrees on the two best. One's a miracle of human genetics. One's a god. One controls the game. One finishes it. They play each other every year. And we still can't decide. King Kong versus Godzilla. Does it matter who wins? To Matt Star News. Hope you enjoyed that short break. Before the break, we were talking about the incident that happened at Hotel Ujana. At the hotel, there's a protest going on due to a lot of people being unhappy with the government. The government is not taking action to what the uh, to what the people want to keep them safe from such a tragedy happening again. Here's what it looks like outside of the hotel. Yes, as you can see, the people on Mali Maldives are very unhappy. Hopefully, the government can do something very nice for them. But we right now, it. the Please, sir, status is not good. We and as you it. can see, people Please, are very, very sir, unhappy with the we government. And Please, hopefully, sir, the government does something it. safe for Please, the people. Sir, and we for more it. news, Fuck everything's going good. <laughs> and the good news is that no one from the hotel has died. And there are not that many severe we injuries. So, good job. And uh, let's just take one of the interviews. Uh, sir, can I have your interview, please? So, what do you think about the Maldives government? Are they doing a good job? Yeah, I don't think the Maltese government are doing a good enough job to stop the co uh, the coastal erosion. That so, do you think beach nourishment is a good idea? I think beach nourishment would be great, to, um, so that future, uh, yeah, like events like the hotel mm -hmm. would happen again. Yes, as you heard it, money or beach nourishment? Which one should the government choose? Thank you very much, Nosky. Thank you for watching Matster News, and we wish you a pleasant evening and a lovely weekend.